Good day and welcome to this edition of We Now here on we-tv.ca. My name is Dominic Papa. Thank you for joining us. We've got another great topic to talk about, counseling, marriage, relationship counseling. We've got the perfect expert here to help us with it. John, you're <laughs> laughing. Come on. John Sullivan from John Sullivan Counseling uh, joins us here on We Now. And thanks for uh, coming to the studio, John. Thanks great to have you here. And, I love it. Uh, you know what? Uh, we're in the dog days of winter now. The holidays are over. The emotions of that. Valentine's is in the air. Uh, does your business pick up at a certain time, or the, the, you know? Well, it, after January first, people make resolutions. So yeah. then there's a, a bit of a upsurge. Yeah. About uh, because they want they want to work on the relationship, and so you know I you mentioned therapy and counseling, and, and I'm trying to shift it over to coaching, because mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. as a coach. Uh, typically there's nothing wrong with my players out there, but mm -hmm. sometimes what they're doing is not working. They're mm -hmm. not working as well as they want. Mm -hmm. And I, I truly believe the same is true mm -hmm. about relationships. That It's not that there's something wrong with people, other than that we're all been out of shape a bit. <laughs> you would agree? <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. But that sometimes what they're doing is not working. And whether I'm coaching hockey or football or, or relationships, I just know some mm -hmm. things work better than others. Mm -hmm. And that's and, all I do. And just to let our viewers know, John does have a, a, a sports background, but uh, he's taken that and put it into some of his practice here of counseling but uh, you have a degree in everything like i mean you're very qualified to be well, a thanks. counselor yeah I, I do i have a master's in counseling psychology mm. and you're right i coach football at assumption and then hockey at st Clair. And, and i was always a basics kind of guy you know and in, in, in football is blocking and tackling in hockey it's you got to learn how to pass and skate and check and shoot it's not a hundred skills mm. but there's some basic skills mm. you need and i think the true mm. the same is true of relationships if you can learn those basic skills Mm -hmm. Much better chance to. Mm -hmm. I think in some up. some relationships, say there's blocking and tackling, <laughs> physically. But it's, it's, you know, needs to get worked out. But uh, um, sometimes I'm a referee. <laughs> there you go. In, in well, the everybody line. needs a good referee. Right. Uh, I guess. So where did this all start for you then? Well, um, so 28 years ago, my wife and I separated. We've been married for 15 years at the time, and it was over. Mm. We had two children. We were meeting regarding the kids. Uh, very amicable, but, but it was finished. And uh, it was my wife, really, who read the book, uh, Getting the Love You Want, by a guy called Harville Hendricks. And the point Harville makes in that book is that what often happens in our culture is we get rid of our partner, but we keep the problem and take the same problem in the next mm -hmm. relationship. So we said, well, that makes sense. So we said, let's not waste that 15-year history. Let's figure out what didn't work so we don't repeat the pattern. Mm -hmm. Four months later, we're back together. Two months later, we went down to Chicago to a, a workshop Harville gave. And we said, this guy makes a ton of sense. So I went to New York and trained with him. And then two years later, I went back to train to do the workshop. So I've been doing the same workshops around the states and Canada mm -hmm. that he did in Chicago. So I tell people, I say, if you're going to work with me, this is what you're going to get. Intellectually, it makes sense to me. My wife and I just celebrated our 42nd anniversary last year, but it wouldn't happen without this. But I've also seen it play itself out of my office for the mm -hmm. last 27 years. Okay, he's mm -hmm. on to something. So. 27 years, that's a great amount of experience. And I'm sure over the years, you've probably had a bit of everything come your way. Uh, yeah. Maybe they're fighting over the pets, maybe they're fighting over the kids, uh, the house, whatever it is, yeah. but uh, over the 27, 28 plus years of your practice, uh, how have you changed with the times? Because let's face it, we live in a different world compared to 28 years ago now. That's a good question. Uh, I got that from the counselor, that question. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know. You know, I go, I go back to the basics that if if people can learn to talk to each other, mm. but in a safe way, they'll figure things out. Um, it was really Harville's wife, Helen, who, who said, you've dethroned the therapist. Because traditionally, if, if the two of us were, if the therapist is here, I talk to the therapist, she talks to me, the therapist talks to you. But in reality, as a husband and wife, or, or just two business partners, we have to learn to talk to each other. Mm -hmm. So my job is really to get two people to talk to each other, but in a safe way. Mm -hmm. And for me, the safety is the key to the whole deal. And I, I don't know if we have time in here to explain, but if you think of our brain right now, you and I, our human brain, theoretically, the two of us are using our intellectual, mm -hmm. rational. You're, you're way ahead of me there, though, John. Well, so. well theoretically, I said <laughs> we're, we're using our rational brain. But we all have a brain stem. Mm -hmm. the, they call it the old brain, the brain stem. It mm -hmm. comes up to the back of the neck. It's the automatic survival stuff. And all animals have a brain stem. The brain stem is simply concerned with survival. Is mm -hmm. it safe or is it dangerous? If it's dangerous, I'll defend myself. That's 500 million years. You're not going to change that. Mm -hmm. And so my job is to get two people to talk to each other, but safely. Because if I feel threatened, I'll defend. Mm -hmm. And 
again, over millions of years, think about it, nature's learned better chance to survive mm -hmm. if you explode your energy out, the fight or flight. We've all heard that. Mm -hmm. Or if we constrict our energy, if we hide or we freeze or we submit. You know, like a little rabbit will hide or freeze. Sure. So millions of years, nature's learned better chance to survive if you explode your energy or you constrict your energy. And then they marry each other. Well, there you go. Because one typically has learned in order to survive, you have to talk to me, talk to me, mm -hmm. talk to me. The other one typically has learned in order to survive, leave me alone, leave mm -hmm. me alone, leave me alone. We're talking to relationship coach John Sullivan, uh, who has a practice here in the Windsor, Essex County area. But he's open to anybody and everybody that's watching here on uh, WE TV, of course, the WE Now segment here. Uh, we say coach, John, and you're, you're strong about that. You yeah. want to, to let people know that uh, you are a coach yeah. in, in this avenue. Well, I, I, think I, I think I said, the, the connotation around therapy and counseling is there's something wrong with people. And I, I truly believe, after 27 years, because as you said, I've seen a lot. Mm -hmm. but, but most people, I mean, like I say, we're, we're all bent out of shape, but, but there's nothing wrong with them other than that what they're doing is not working. So as a coach, I, I think I can, I can help them do things a little bit differently, like, you know. And, and I am passionate about it because if you go back 20 years, like I said, if you think about yoga or meditation or even going to the gym or, or watching labels on, mm -hmm. on food products, we didn't do that 20 years ago. But now it's more mainstream. And I, mm -hmm. I would really like to get this notion of coaching more up front because typically people don't go to marriage therapy unless it's a last resort. The wheels mm -hmm. have fallen out. We better go to marriage therapy. Mm -hmm. And it, as you said, it, it's often too late. Yeah. Uh, the word compromise, and listening to you, John, uh, and how you're explaining things and how you go about your practice, uh, compromise, is that a word that, that comes out a lot into what you do and uh, finding that happy medium? Uh, yeah. It is. The, the tendency of the word compromise for me tends to be you have to give up a little bit and I have to give up a little bit. Where what I try to do is if, if I can really hear you and, and validate where you're coming from. You're coming from a different place than I am. Mm -hmm. If I can really hear you and validate, that makes sense. And if you can do that the same for me, that you can really hear me and validate, okay, then if, if two people can do that, they can move to a third place they can both live with. And I see that rather than I hear the word compromise, and it makes mm -hmm. sense, but there's also the connotation that they both have to give up a bit, whereas if, if we can talk, we can find sort of a go forward a bit and find a new, mm -hmm. something that would work for both of us. Okay. That's how I like to look at it. Anyway. So we have counselors, we have, in your, uh, as you call yourself, a coach. What else makes you different than other uh, places that go and get this type of help? Well. As I said, I trained with Harville Hendricks, and he has a, a system he calls a Mago Relationship Therapy. And it's, a Mago is simply, it's a Latin word for image. And I, I won't go into the whole deal, but his, he's trying to look at the, he, or he's looking at the statistics on divorce, mm -hmm. but they're horrible. Mm -hmm. and, and so what's going on? And, and his theory is, is that from our family of origin, where we, where we grew up, we have thousands of hours of watching our parents interact. And he says, what seems to happen is we form this unconscious image of their personal make us whole, but it's made for the positive but also negative traits of our, of our parents. And again, that makes sense. You can't live with somebody for 18 years and not be affected by it. But the trick here, or the, the, the difference is, it's the negative uh, uh, traits that are the more important because they tap into needs you didn't get met as a child. And unconsciously, nobody would consciously, if, if, you, if, if I was criticized as a kid, why would I marry a critic? But unconsciously, we, we, we're attracted to someone who has some of that negative traits and and so then but once you understand that it becomes conscious you have a better chance to deal with it so why would couples come to see you what's what's the biggest uh well i think a couple of things one is because of my own experience and I, and on, on the website it, it's i'm very clear mm -hmm. I, this i would not be where i'm what i'm doing doing what i'm doing now without having gone through those really sure. painful nine months 27 years ago mm -hmm. so it, it's not it's not just theory for me it's very personal and, and then I have this Imago uh, system, which I think is the best understanding we have in relation to today's world. Mm -hmm. And I have lots of experience. So I, I think those would be three sort of areas mm -hmm. or reasons why. And, and you kind of touched off on how you go about uh, your counseling or your coaching, as you call it, John. Uh, but, but what else is unique about your system? Well, I, I, as I said, I think it, I've, it, it, the therapist isn't the key person. <laughs> Okay. You know, you, sure. the two people are the key people. Yeah, and that so, makes sense. So if I can teach them, and I, I can in the office because I can control it. I, I'm the referee. I got the hockey stick that was <laughs> in the corner, two okay. minutes. But if I can teach two people to talk to each other in a safe way, they'll figure things out. 
you know? Mm -hmm. And it's not like a cookie cutter, but what might work for you and your partner might not work for my wife and I, but if we keep talking, we'll figure out what'll work for us. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a, a main difference and why it's, because you, you don't need therapy, but you need to, to learn to talk to each other, but in a safe way, because if, if, if I feel threatened or not safe, I'll defend myself. Mm -hmm. That's 500 million years, you're not gonna change that. And if you think about how relationships are depicted in our culture, movies, TV, those magazines that check out Connor, but in real life, but think about it from an old brain point of view. If I attack you or yell at you or don't talk or shut down or make fun of you, what are you gonna do except defend yourself? You mm -hmm. see it everywhere. Yeah. It doesn't work. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. Can you distinguish, John, between somebody that just needs to be able to learn to talk to their partner or whether they do need that therapy, that, that and you're, you're absolutely right. I, I think that the majority of people just need to learn to talk. There are people who, who need serious therapy. Mm -hmm. uh, I use an example of my son. He has schizophrenia. That's way beyond me. It's, it's, mm -hmm. I love him, but it's way beyond me. And, mm -hmm. and he needs somebody that can work with him. And it's not me. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, as a dad, I love him and, mm -hmm. and, and support him and do whatever I can. But, but there are people, as you said, that they need to, there are. But for, I think the majority of people, I think it's just learning to talk. Mm -hmm. Of course, we're talking about relationships here, but uh, can an individual come to you? Just absolutely. a person by himself and say, look, yeah. I, I just really need to talk to you yeah. about what's going on in my life. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I also do Skype. Okay. And that's, it's, it's really yeah. cool. That's because unique, yeah. It, yeah. So I have, I, I had a client in Alaska and one in Ottawa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's know? the world we live in now. I know. Yeah, well, absolutely. You say change. There's, yeah. a, there's a good example of mm -hmm. how it changed. And, uh, out in uh, uh, Leamington, you know, a couple, they have three kids. Well, it's an hour in, an hour counts, an hour back, we're on Skype. It's just, you know, an hour, they, you know, they get the, the, the parents come in and watch the kids and they, mm -hmm. they can be on the computer. Mm -hmm. I guess what, in 28 years of your practice, uh, which again, congratulations on that, that's a great career in itself, but uh, I guess what, what's made you most proud of what you've done and some of the people that you've helped? And obviously, I know you can't go into details, but you know, if you can just touch off on some of the things that you've done and, and, and you know, helped people along with. Well, it, it's a bit like being a coach or a teacher. Mm -hmm. You often don't hear about it until much later. Sometimes sure. a, a kid uh, that I've coached or taught will come back and say, you, you know, really made a big impact. And I think it's the same true with, same with relationships. But you know uh, a couple comes in and, and they're, they're devastated and they're, they're in turmoil. And then in five, six, seven, eight, ten weeks, things are, are really have turned right around and it, it's it's exciting because again going back to my own experience I know how devastated I was back then and and how great the relationship is and on my card I say I and I truly believe this the tools are available in our culture to have the relationship of your dreams I truly believe that mm -hmm. and here's why remember I said that uh, from um, an imago point of view you're with somebody who has uh, certain needs that weren't met growing up then they marry me who can't meet those needs mm -hmm. are they ever going to get those needs met and, and that was a real issue until what Harville realized was the only way my wife will get her needs met is if I stretch and grow and give them to her. But in so doing, I heal myself because that was an area that was weak for me. Mm -hmm. But as I strengthened myself in that, so I truly believe now after 27 years, and it didn't take 27 years, most of her needs have been met, most of my needs have been met. Pretty nice place to be. Just yeah, hang out. It's a great place. I think a lot yeah, of people would like to be in that place. Absolutely. Just let uh, our viewers know John is in the... Uh, working stages. He's completing a book. He's authoring a book, uh, which is, I think, going to be a, a, a huge hit, uh, obviously, with all of his experience and knowledge, and uh, he'll be able to pass it on through his writings. Uh, that will be available anytime soon, John. I know Hopefully there's still in a month or two, yeah. Yeah, it, but uh, he's worked hard on it. It's been over a year that he's worked on it, so he's put his work into the book, so you can expect that. And where they can get a hold of you, John, uh, you know, um, the website, the website and, yeah. uh, and location, anything like that. Let's give it a good plug so that okay. uh, people so want to call the, you uh, uh, John Sullivan Counseling, and then uh, email Sullivan at uh, gmail.com. That's probably too complicated for this, but uh, I'm at 50, uh, probably the website would be the best, mm -hmm. John Sullivan Counseling. John Sullivan Counseling dot com. Yes. Uh, this is a good man. This is somebody you do want to talk to. If you want to just keep your relationship going forward, going strong, uh, certainly get some good communication lines going, 
I've enjoyed talking to you, John. Yeah, me too, I think me we too. could talk for hours. <laughs> I know we've got a lot of th you know, friends in common, which was yeah. pretty neat uh, before getting on air here. But uh, certainly appreciate Thanks, you Tom, coming in today. It. And uh, again, get a hold of John. Don't be afraid. That's the other thing. People are always afraid. Don't be afraid. This is a good man to go and talk to, and uh, he'll give you some good coaching. Trust me on that. That's it for this edition of We Now. Uh, come and check us out again soon. We'll have more of the uh, great uh, people in our area here uh, from Windsor and Essex County on a very uh, special editions of We Now. Until then, though, this is Dominic Papa wishing you a great day. Thanks for tuning in, everybody.